Well, Yuka, I think that uh, sex education is a really important part of a whole suite of different measures and supports that we need to be able to offer to women, girls, boys and men to ensure that we can have proper contraceptives, uh, support, family planning opportunities for everybody. I think when you look at different countries who have different approaches to this, a lot of the countries with the lowest rates of abortion actually have quite liberal abortion laws. But it's not that they only offer abortion services, it's also that they have embedded in their society a really forward thinking approach to contraceptives, to family planning, to sex education, where they will have access to cheap or free contraceptives uh, for women and girls. They will have really good quality sex education that isn't only about biology and about the practices of sex, but also look at the wider context around relationships, how to navigate consent, a lot of these really important issues. And I think you can see that the countries that have all of these things together are the ones least likely to have their women and girls find themselves in situations where they need abortion. It's really important that for those times when people do need to access abortion services that they are there and they're accessible in a free and safe way. So it's really crucial that we do have legalized abortion services but that that's also supported by a whole systematic approach that offers people education and support around this issue.